Hey YouTube, thanks for tuning into my video. I'm here up at Bear Creek to show you some log pyramids. Hopefully these methods that I use can make things a little easier for you and also a little more fun. All right, enjoy the video. Thanks again for tuning in. Okay, so here we have your basic log pyramid. Um, the key to something like this is plenty of momentum and body placement on the bike. I'm gonna show you what happens when I'm leaning too far forward and then again, I'll show you what happens when I put my weight back on the bike. Something else that I do on an obstacle like this is I'm preloading the front end a little bit just before the obstacle to lighten it up. So as my suspension's coming back up, it, the front end becomes light and it's easier to go up something so steep. You know what I mean? I'll show you. So another thing that can make a big difference is what tires you're running. Personally, I run golden tires. Um, I'm running the gummy tire, also known as the 216X. Um, as you can see, it's raining and this log is getting pretty wet um, and the tire's still hooking up. I'm not spinning. Uh, my tire is actually pretty worn out, but it's again, it's the gummy tire, so pretty much good to go. <laughs> But yeah, it makes things like this a little easier. So the main benefit to two wheel hopping over an obstacle like this, um, other than the fact that it's way more fun, um, it's, it's just energy saving. You're not getting thrown forwards. You're not tensing up and trying not to go over the bars as you do the teeter method. When the obstacles get larger, the teetering method gets harder because you're going to want to go over the bars on the other side of the obstacle. Alright, well I'm going to continue riding in the rain. Um, I hope you guys like the video, I hope it helps. Um, just let me know in the comments below if you want me to make any different videos or if you have a question on logs. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.